You're under contract, what now? When you're under contract, there's going to be a series of actions that need to be completed, and more importantly, there's a time frame associated with each one. So you're going to have your home inspection, you're going to have your appraisal, you're going to have a loan commitment, and these are going to expire, which means you have a home inspection contingency, you have 10 days to complete that. If you get your inspection done on day 11 and something comes up, you have a problem. But don't worry, we have your back, we're going to help you out. The first thing out of the starting block is we need to schedule inspection right away. We will be present for your home inspection in case you're worried, you, you, know, you don't know what's going to happen, you're afraid if something comes up. It's fine, we're going to be there, we'll help you through it, and then when the home inspection is done, the home inspector will issue a report and you make a decision, you know, are these major issues, little issues. Typically, if the home inspector is not real busy, he'll actually deliver his findings right there on site so we can make decisions and he'll walk around and say, you know, take a look at this, take a look at that. Now, as far as the lending is concerned, we'll help you out with this because there's a series of steps we go through. First, the lender is going to have you sign some things. He's going to order an appraisal. The appraisal needs to come back. Then he submits a complete file to underwriting. The file is going to come out with conditions. Conditions are we need X, Y, and Z done in order to approve the loan. So he's then going to get the conditions together, the list of items the underwriter wants, and he's going to put them together and submit the file. He's going to submit it for what's called a final clear to close. When the file comes out with your clear to close, then we're ready for the next step.